Can you think of a place where chocolates, beer, waffles, and fries reign supreme? Well, welcome to Belgium. But this country is more than just a sweet tooth's paradise. Belgium is a founding member of the European Union, home to the headquarters of the EU and NATO. Now, when it comes to beauty and stunning landmarks, Belgium is like a country straight out of a fairy tale. Imagine castles, fortresses, and Gothic cathedrals all in one place. In Belgium, you'll experience a diversity of European languages like none other. Not only are they great at speaking English, but they also speak Dutch, French, and even German. What if we told you that the body mass index was invented in Belgium? Not just that, plastic, safe contraceptive pills, and even the famous Big Bang Theory were all ideas of the brilliant minds of Belgium. But there's a lot more to discover here, so stick around to find out. 1. Belgium is located in Western Europe, sharing borders with the Netherlands to the north, Germany and the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg to the east, and France to the south and west. 2. One thing about the Belgians is that they know how to throw a party like no other. From the lively parade of music in Brussels to the spirited Alst Carnival, millions flock to these events for a taste of the vibrant Belgian spirit. And let's not forget Tomorrowland, the best of all electronic dance music festivals, making Belgium the global dance floor. To make sure you don't miss out on this, visit Belgium between June and July. And don't forget to grab a ticket as they get sold out really quickly. Belgium also hosts a parade of festivals like Rock Wurcher and Puckle Pop that'll rock your world. The Belgians know how to turn any occasion into a celebration, so if you're ready to party like never before, Belgium's got your invitation ready. 3. Mannequin Piss is a tiny 21.9-inch bronze statue of a little boy peeing in the heart of Brussels, just a skip away from the iconic Grand Place. And there's a story behind it. When Brussels found itself surrounded by enemies trying to stash gunpowder in a tricky retreat, a little hero named Julian spotted the fuse and, well, took matters into his own hands. How? He peed on it. To immortalize his heroism, the city put up a statue of him that's now a favorite among tourists. But the fun doesn't stop there. This little guy has a wardrobe that would make any fashionista jealous. Throughout the year, Mannequin Piss gets dressed up in different costumes for various occasions, festivals, or just for the sheer joy of it. For an exclusive peek into his closet, head to Garderobe Mannequin Piss at the Brussels Museum. 4. Belgium is a place where you might need to tilt your neck a bit to watch the eye of an average Belgium. Yes, when it comes to height, these people are like the giants of Europe, and it's not an exaggeration. You'll find Belgian men strutting around at an average of 185 centimeters, while the ladies grace the scene at 170 centimeters. These impressive figures contribute to Belgium's claim to fame, making it a standout on the European stage with its own set of unique characteristics. Now there's this ongoing debate about why Belgians are towering above the rest. Is it the chocolates, the waffles, or the fries? We'll let you be the judge of that. 5. Calling all beach lovers. Let's set sail to the Belgian coast, a coastal paradise stretching 65 kilometers along the North Sea. Here you'll find small cities with big charm, sandy beaches, and fishing towns buzzing with life. Now, for the adventure of your life, you can choose from Austin or Newport, where tradition meets relaxation. But that's not all. Swing by Naka Heist for a taste of the new and trendy, where up-and-coming sites promise a seafront experience like no other. Check out Popsaland Amusement Park in Japan for a day filled with rides, attractions, and shows suitable for all ages. You can also kick it up a notch with kite surfing, a popular sport with strong winds and shallow waters here. 6. Belgium's national dish is the moule frite, a mouth-watering combination of French fries and some of the world's finest mussels. Imagine a plate piled high with juicy mussels, perfectly paired with crispy fries and served with a dollop of Dijon mayonnaise. Now, Belgium doesn't export its mussels, so the seafood feast is served in abundance across the country, making its way even to your local Belgian supermarket. But here's a little heads up. There's an old rule that says you shouldn't eat mussels between May and June. Maybe it's a chance for the mussels to have their summer break. 7. 
Belgium has mastered the art of waffle making, and two stars steal the show. Brussels waffles and Liège waffles. Brussels waffles are light and airy thanks to their thin, yeast-leavened batter. On the other side of the waffle spectrum, we have the Liège waffle, thicker, stickier, and boasting pockets of pearl sugar in its almost bread-like dough. But here's a friendly tip. Don't mix them up unless you'd like to upset your hosts. You can also take it up a notch by pairing these waffle wonders with some world-class Belgian chocolate for the ultimate indulgence. 8. You're already familiar with the beloved French fries. But spoiler alert, they're not actually French. Historians digging into the past claim that in the late 1600s, Belgians were already into this. According to the tales of the Meuse Valley, where the potato party started, villagers facing frozen rivers in winter couldn't catch their usual fish feast. So these villagers, who knew a thing or two about survival, decided to slice up potatoes and fry them just like they did with their fish. And just like that, the world got its first taste of what we now lovingly call French fries. Every little village rocks at least one fricot, a magical kiosk or van dishing out crispy Belgian fries. But the fun doesn't stop there. Did you know Belgium is home to the world's first and only French fry museum? Yes, there's a whole museum dedicated to celebrating the crispy golden wonders, and you'll find it at Vlamingstraat in Bruges. 9. Did you know that Belgium turns out over 220,000 tons of chocolate annually? Well, Belgium is the reigning champion of chocolate with a history as rich as its cocoa. It all started in the 16th century when Dr. Tobias Venner made a sweet introduction to Europe. Fast forward to today, and all Belgian chocolates must boast a minimum of 35% pure cocoa, making them an absolute luxurious delight. There are over 500 varieties of chocolate from about 2,000 brands. 10. Belgium is a gold mine for your Insta-feed and perfect TikTok aesthetic content. You won't want to miss these spots. Bruges is a medieval town straight out of a fairy tale. The Groot Market Square, filled with beautiful and unique buildings, Belfry Tower, and Groot House Mansion are some of the best places for the perfect Instagram photo op. Now let's talk about Ghent, quaint, serene, and dripping in history. It's not only perfect for art lovers and history buffs with the famous altarpiece at St. Bavos Cathedral, it's also a relaxation spot that attracts all kind of travelers. Gravenstein, Belfry of Ghent, and St. Nicholas Church are the places to be if you're into aesthetics. Then we have Leuven, where marketplaces, street-side pubs, and cafes meet the world's oldest Catholic university. This place is a buzzing area, always alive with students from all over the globe. For those into cruises and picnics, Michelin has its doors wide open for you. Boat tours, brewery tours, you name it. And if you're feeling adventurous, climb the towering St. Rombaut Cathedral for a view that'll leave you breathless, overlooking the Antwerp port. 11. Can you guess where the Communist Manifesto was written? Karl Marx, the German philosopher, decided to set up his writing camp in Brussels back in the day, specifically from 1845 to 1847. He brought along his partner, Frederick Engels, and together they cooked up the Communist Manifesto in the Sing, a restaurant in Grand Place. So if you ever find yourself in Brussels, make sure to swing by Le Sing and soak in the ambiance of where Marx and Engels created their masterpiece. 12. Brussels, the cosmopolitan heart of Belgium, and the seat of the EU and NATO is a multicultural wonder in Europe. Think of Brussels as the political hub for all of Europe. For art enthusiasts, a day in Brussels is a day with creativity. Dive into the Royal Museum of Fine Arts, housing the Marguerite Museum, which is a must visit. Explore the contemporary vibes at Beaux-Arts or bask in the artistic treasures of the Bauhausian Foundation at Villa Empain. There are so many architectural wonders here from the UNESCO-listed Grand Place to the captivating Maison Cauchy, open for tours on select weekends. And there's more. The nightlife here is absolutely to die for. The party animals will have the time of their lives at bars and clubs like Esprit o Brussels and Fuse. For the vintage lovers, Brussels has got you covered. The daily antique market at Place du Jeu de Bal and the chic shops in the Sablon district offer some of the world's best and most affordable vintage finds. 13. 
Did you know that over 1,000 different types of beer are brewed in Belgium? You could sip on a unique Belgian beer every day for four years and never taste the same twice. The exact count might be a bit uncertain, with some sources estimating between 1,000 to 1,200 original Belgian beers, and that's not even counting the variations under the same name. Imagine spending time in a cozy cafe in Brussels like Café Delirium, where the beer menu boasts more than 1,700 different Belgian brews. Beer isn't just a beverage in Belgium, it's practically the national drink. The beer culture is so revered that it's officially protected by UNESCO, standing shoulder to shoulder with Belgium's other specialties. 14. Belgium is considered to be the battlefield of Europe. But why? This is because it has witnessed so many historic clashes, from the World Wars to the Battle of Waterloo. Did you know that a huge chunk of the Band of Brothers series by Steven Spielberg unfolds right here in Belgium? Now, the city of Ypres is a tiny town with a big World War I history. Check out the Flanders Fields Museum to see where the British, Commonwealth, and Belgian forces fought it out with the German Empire. Then there's Liège, which is like a medieval wonderland with landmarks like the Prince Bishop's Palace. And nearby, you'll find the Ardennes Forest, which saw a lot of action during the Battle of the Bulge. Mons is another gem, south of Belgium, where the Battle of Mons in 1914 happened. If you would like to know more about the Battle of Waterloo, which happened in 1815, visit the city of Waterloo and make your way to Hougoumont Farmhouse, the Lion's Mound Monument, and the Waterloo Visitor Center to learn all the details. 15. Belgium is the heart of beloved comic strips that have captured hearts worldwide. First up, we have Lucky Luke, the 1946 comic series by the talented Belgian cartoonist Morris, and who hasn't heard of Tintin, created by the legendary Hergé. The Adventures of Tintin is a global masterpiece that put Belgium on the map in the comic world. But the most famous of them all is Peo's The Smurfs. That's right, those tiny blue mischief makers were Belgian-born before they hit the box office with a catchy theme song. 16. Hoogekampen National Park is a sprawling Belgian treasure covering over 5,000 acres. Imagine vast lakes, large pine forests, and healthlands adorned with the hues of purple flowers. The park's elevated areas give visitors spectacular views that are nothing short of breathtaking. But it's not just the scenery that is captivating. In Hoogekampen, you'll see rare and special animal species such as wolves, graceful roe deers, and delicate sandpipers. There are also various tourist offerings here, from information kiosks guiding your journey to cozy cafeterias and hiking trails. 17. The love of football is a passion that runs deep in the blood of Belgians. The Red Devils, Belgium's national team, are more than just players on the field. They have captivated fans far and wide with their dazzling victories. They made appearances in the final stages of 14 FIFA World Cups and six UEFA European Championships, participating in three Olympic football tournaments, including their victory at the 1920 Summer Olympics. The magic of football in Belgium is a game changer that brings people together, transcending cultures and backgrounds. 18. If you have a thing for castles, then Belgium has a lot in store for you. The majestic Alden Biesen Castle stands tall and the formidable Frere Fortress echoes centuries of history. And that's just the beginning. The medieval charm of Hetstein in Antwerp beckons, standing tall since the 13th century. Gasbeek Castle, now a national museum, has a history dating back to the 13th century, with a royal touch from the Horn family in the 16th century. Each fortress and castle tells a story, a unique chapter in Belgium's rich history laced with elegant design elements and offering breathtaking views. 19. Belgium is a real powerhouse of brains and creativity, and the Belgians have indeed left an indelible mark in the science and art scene. First up, meet Georges Lemaitre, the physicist, priest, genius who gifted us the Hubble-Lemaitre law, a key player in shaping the Big Bang Theory we swear by today. Love the sound of the saxophone? You have Adolf Sax to thank for that. He is the brain behind the saxophone, an iconic instrument that's been setting musical vibes across genres for ages. Now, we know Tim Berners-Lee as the inventor of the World Wide Web, but have you heard of Robert Calliot? 
He's the co-inventor of the World Wide Web. Yes, that's right. Without the Belgian touch, you wouldn't be watching this right now. 20. In Belgium, you'll find Spa, the enchanting Belgian village right in the heart of the Ardennes. Often called the Pearl of the Ardennes, the Spa has been drawing travelers since the 14th century, especially those seeking the healing touch of its rejuvenating waters. But here's a fun fact. Spa isn't just a place, it's the origin of the word spa itself. The healing waters of this village became so famous that the term spa became synonymous with health resorts worldwide. While it officially transitioned into a tourist attraction in the early 1800s, its natural charm still remains. And beyond its therapeutic springs, you can also find a few casinos here calling on you to try your luck. 21. Belgium has this love affair with weather that's almost like a national pastime. Who needs small talk when you can dive into hours of conversation about the unexpected temperature swings, spring barging in during February, and snow making a surprise appearance in April? But this whole weather saga might just be the secret sauce behind Belgium's legendary chocolate. Word on the street is that chocolate can handle the Belgian weather easily. They say the best chocolate is found here, thanks to the sun-resistant coca that thrives in this unpredictable climate. 22. Antwerp is the dazzling diamond capital of the world. The diamond game here is really strong, with an annual turnover of over 20 billion euros. That is three times more than the competition in the US. Antwerp has been selling and exchanging diamonds since 1447, and today this city handles a jaw-dropping 80% of the world's rough diamonds and a cool 50% of all cut diamonds. But there's more to the story. Ludwig van Birken is a Flemish jeweler who not only invented the first pear-cut diamond, but also brought the polishing game to a whole new level with the Skyf, the wheel that uses diamond dust to cut diamonds with precision and create those beautiful, intricate cuts. And if you're strolling through Antwerp's diamond district, keep an eye out for Ludwig's statue, giving a nod to the brilliance he brought to the diamond world. 23. Belgium is filled with historic cities like Tournai, Bouillon, and Ypres. But there's one little gem that steals the spotlight, Dubai. Proudly flaunting the title of the smallest city in the world, Dubai is more like a teeny tiny town with just around 500 locals. Back in the 14th century, the Count of Luxembourg gave Dubai a city badge, making it historically significant. Despite its size, Dubai has a charming historic center and serves as the perfect spot for adventurers. Walkers, bikers, canoeists, kayakers, you name it. But Dubai isn't just about action. It's also a chill spot. Check out the Topiary Park for some quirky sculptures or swing by the 18-hole mini golf course with a view. 24. Belgians are part of the big leagues when it comes to the tax game. According to the 2015 CGI report, the highest earners in Belgium are shouldering a hefty 57.8 tax rate. Now, that's no small change. They've earned the fourth spot in Europe just behind France, Italy, and Spain. The OECD even crowned Belgium with the bronze medal for the third highest tax rates among its 34 members. 25. One of the coolest things about this country is that it has three official languages, Dutch, French, and German. Now, if you're on a Belgian adventure, make sure to pay attention to the regional names. The northern Flemish region is Dutch-speaking, Wallonia in the south is French territory, and don't forget the eastern Belgium corner, where you'll find the German-speaking minority. Now, the star of the show is Brussels, the bilingual capital. In this bustling city, you can speak either Dutch or French. However, if you can't speak any of these languages, that's not a problem, because most people in Belgium also speak English. 26. Namur is the captivating capital of Belgium's Walloon region and is filled with well-preserved medieval landmarks, where the Citadel de Namur and the St. Aubin Cathedral stand as testaments to a bygone era. Lose yourself in Namur's vibrant art scene with numerous museums and art galleries, like the Museum of Decorative Arts of Namur, waiting to be explored. And when the sun sets, Namur comes alive with a bustling nightlife. Dozens of bars and clubs invite you to indulge in a night out on the town, some of the top ones being Le Chapitre and Barnabir. The lively atmosphere ensures you'll have a great time exploring all that Namur has to offer. 27. While Belgians are big on Christmas cheer, they have a unique way of celebrating the festivities. 
December 25th is still a celebration, but the real gift giver is none other than Sinterklaas, or St. Nicholas, from December 5th to the 6th. St. Nicholas himself makes a grand entrance, bringing gifts to the kids who have been good all year round. It's tradition for families to joyfully set out shoes stuffed with hay and a carrot for St. Nick's trusty horse, all in eager anticipation of his magical visit. Streets come alive with vibrant parades and echoes of joyous laughter. Christmas Day, however, takes a different turn as it's more of a religious celebration, a touch of solemnity in the midst of holiday joy. 28. Belgium knows a thing or two about resilience, and they have a world record to prove it. For 589 days between 2010 and 2011, Belgium functioned without an elected government, setting a record that's one of a kind. Now, navigating the Belgian political landscape can be quite difficult with the diverse political views and regions that marched to their own beat. But that didn't stop the show. The people of Belgium showcased their resilience by keeping things going, all thanks to an interim caretaker administration. They proved that a lack of formal government shouldn't be a roadblock to success or a reason to halt the march toward greatness. 29. Belgium is a pioneer of European heights. Back in 1928, Antwerp became the proud host of Europe's first skyscraper, the iconic Torrenjbo. Standing tall at 96 meters with 26 floors, it still dominates the Antwerp skyline today, now known as the Borenturen or KBC Tower. But there's more to Belgium's architectural prowess. The Torrenjbo held the title of the tallest building in Europe until 1940, when the Terrazza Martini Tower rose in Genoa, Italy. Belgium is also home to Europe's oldest shopping arcade, the charming Galerie Saint-Hubert, opening its doors in Brussels in 1847. 30. Belgium is a powerhouse player in global affairs. As one of the European Union's founding members, it stands tall as a crucial hub for international dealings. But that's not all. Imagine being the proud host of the NATO headquarters, bringing together diverse cultures from all corners of Europe. Belgium has a significant role when it comes to shaping international relations and fostering collaboration among nations. With crucial meetings on peacekeeping and trade negotiations happening right on its turf, it actively contributes innovative ideas navigating the complexities of international affairs. Got any fun facts of your own about Belgium? Share them with us in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more interesting facts.